Hello, my old school soul food family. It's Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I got two more of these. You got to do 24 of them. And it's going to take me all the way up to New Year's Eve, y'all. I just timed this thing just perfectly. If you don't know what Vlogmas is, it's something you YouTubers do in the month of December. It's supposed to be the 1st to the 24th. But I got a late start. Like I told y'all, I'm going to push it all the way to the end of the month. Then I'm going to share something with y'all. I don't, can't believe I never shared with y'all. This is something I have every New Year's, Christmas time. And uh, because this stuff only comes out once a year. Eggnog. And it's an eggnog pound cake. I've been doing this for absolutely at least 15 years. It's an amazing cake. Very, if you like eggnog and you like the creaminess of it and the moisture of it, this is the pound cake for y'all. I can't believe I've been the whole month of December haven't even did a cake, y'all. I've just noticed that. My team noticed that. I said I got to get one in, and it's not even Friday night. It is Wednesday night, so this going to be Wednesday night cake of the week, y'all. So anyway, y'all, let's get started. Like every pound cake I do, every cake I do, I got my butter room temperature. A lot of butter in pound cakes, y'all. Three, three sticks. That's a pound and a half if you pan on at home. I mean, that's uh, not pound. It's twelve ounces. Almost three fourths of a pound if you're playing alone at home. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna cream the butter and sugar for about about ten minutes. Six or seven to ten minutes. I want this thing to get very, very creamy. Will you feel no granules in it? Y'all know if I made cakes before. Y'all been following along at home. I'm very keen on this. Using room temperature, the butter's room temperature, the egg is room temperature, even the eggnog is room temperature. All this stuff is room temperature. It's gonna create a lighter, moisture cake. So, and you want to cream your butter and sugar no less than five minutes, no more than ten. You want to cream it so the granules, you don't feel many granules of the sugar in with the butter. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to be right back here in about 10 minutes. And we're going to add the eggs and we're going to go from there. Very simple cake. This is a pound cake. We're going to have a cream cheese glaze, not a cream cheese frosting. We're going to make a cream cheese glaze with eggnog. Oh, man, this cake is amazing. So we'll be right back, y'all. Vlogmas Day 22. Just getting started. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, see how light and fluffy this got, y'all? That's what you want. That's what you want in here when you cream the butter and sugar. See that? See how light and fluffy that is? That's what you want. Okay, now we got that going. I'm telling y'all, this is a very important part of having a nice, light cake. Okay, we're going to add our eggs. Room temperature eggs, y'all, one at a time. this down this batter is looking absolutely amazing amazing here y'all amazing cake batter that's the key you can tell how you're gonna have a cake like just by looking at the batter okay now the next thing I'm gonna do here put this in I'm gonna put my Baking soda, cinnamon nutmeg. I want to put it all in the flour here. And mix it all up and incorporate it here in the flour. Make sure it's good incorporated. So let's just put the vanilla next and then we're gonna alternate the dry and the wet. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to add the vanilla to this. Okay, now, we're going to alternate the flour and the... Now, this is the kind of eggnog I use, y'all. I use the one that doesn't have the nutmeg and stuff in it. You can, if you want to use the one that has the nutmeg and stuff in it, you can. But I prefer just to have regular uh, uh, eggnog. Okay, y'all know I start with dry, end with dry. Alternate the, uh, the, uh, the dry and the wet. And this eggnog is room temperature, y'all. I'm about to say, this guy's crazy. Eggnog cake. Y'all probably never heard of this, right? There's been a lot of recipes I do. Y'all probably say, man, this guy has lost his mind. I'm going to scrape the bowl down here a little. Get all the way down in the bottom. Okay. And a little bit more flour. The rest of the eggnog. the rest of the flour to this. Turn on real slow. Now you're going to have a face full of flour. That's it. Y'all know I do not like to overmix my batter. And you know why if you've been following me enough. Because you'll have a tough cake. You want to run. I'm going to mix the red flour by hand. Get all the beaters off of that. Get all the stuff off the beaters. And we'll just, you know, just kind of mix it by hand, y'all. That's it. See, get it all mixed, incorporated, all down in the bottom, y'all. And that's it. Now, we're going to get our, uh, rid of this. That tastes amazing, y'all. Okay, let me get my buttered pan here. My spray pan. I'm just gonna go around the edges with this thing, y'all. <clears throat> like I said, y'all, I can't believe it's been this long since I made a cake. Cannot believe it. I know I do not go that long without making a making a cake, y'all. Make sure you get all that stuff out the bowl, y'all. A bit more here. That's it. Just gonna kind of even it off there. Even it around there. There we go. There we go, y'all. Now we're gonna put this in the oven, 325 degrees, for about an hour and 15 minutes. I like to check mine after maybe 45 minutes or so. And like I tell y'all, every oven is different, so you want to kind of keep an eye on it. After about an hour and 15 minutes. So anyway, we'll be back and we got a glaze to make for this. Cream cheese glaze. Not a cream cheese icing. A cream cheese glaze that we're going to flow on top of this pound cake. So we'll be right back. Vlog, right back. Right back. Vlogmas day 22 is almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Like I told y'all, I'm going to make a cream cheese, not icing, but a cream cheese glaze. All I got in this bowl, I got me some room temperature cream cheese. And I'm going to do this by hand. You can do it with a mixer, but 
I'm not gonna get out my mixer to do this. The key, y'all, and get the cream cheese all, you know, smooth as possible in the bowl. I like to use a, a little rubber spatula here. Get it all mixed up in there really good. There we go. Then I'm gonna add my powdered sugar. And this is just eight ounces of cream cheese, y'all. And when you use a pound of powdered sugar, I'm making a lot of glaze, y'all. Well, left over, just be left over. Okay. Mix that up in there. All up in there, good. Like I say, y'all, if you want to use a mixer, you definitely can use a mixer. Get that mixed up as much as you can. See this? Y'all see this? Okay. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my all I got a little cinnamon nutmeg in there. It's gonna make it be really, really like it's a you really eating an eggnog. You know, eggnog has nutmeg in it. I like a little cinnamon in it too make it festive. Put a little vanilla in here. Get that all mixed up in there. Oh yeah, you know that's looking good already, don't you? I ain't even had the eggnog yet. Okay, now, now we're gonna add the eggnog. This one you gotta be very careful when you add this, because you can get it too soupy and then it ain't gonna work for you. work with it here. I'm going to add a little bit more so we get it loosened up. I'm going to get my whisk here in a second. So when I get it kind of loose, and I'm going to get my whisk here. Now I'm going to get the whisk. We're going to whisk it here to smooth it out. Move out the lumps. See that? And like I say, y'all, if you can't do this by hand, by all means, get a mixer. But I can do it by hand. A little bit more because I want it to be a glaze. I don't want it to be thick. A little bit more. A little bit more. That should do it. Oh yeah. See how smooth that come together. There we go. See that? That's what you want, y'all. That's what you want. So we're gonna let that sit aside here. We're gonna let the cake get ready. When the cake come out, I'm gonna show you and it's a cool off. I'm definitely gonna let it cool pretty much completely. Before I put this nice glaze on top of it, and then we will go from there. Vlogmas day 22, almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. And look what happened to my cake. It ain't no big deal, but I'm gonna show y'all. It happens to the best of us. See that cake? See how it stuck a little? But you know what? It don't matter. You know why? Because all this glaze is gonna go on top of this. Once it's the cake completely cool, I mean, it's perfect. Look at that. A nice pretty pound cake, y'all. Look at that. But I'm not through with it. I'm about to uh I'm about to let this thing sit here about 30, 45 minutes. And once it uh, cool down, we'll see all this glaze. We're gonna see if we can fit all that glaze on there. I know I can't, but I'm definitely gonna try to put as much glaze as I can on there on that uh eggnog pound cake so anyway we're gonna step off y'all about 45 minutes we'll be back and we're gonna put that glaze on there and let it flow over that cake and uh we're gonna see how it is eggnog pound cake vlogmas day 22 it's almost finished we'll be right back okay y'all we back okay all right now we're gonna ice this cake y'all put this glaze on here and the cake is not completely cool you want a little warmth in there so the glaze can flow over, uh, 
floor over the cake. Remember them crevices that I right there? Definitely want to get in those crevices there. We're going to cover all that up. I'm going to have some glaze left over because I got some cinnamon rolls. And this is going to be perfect on my cinnamon rolls, y'all. There. <clears throat> I'm just going to let nature do its thing, y'all. Gravity do its thing there. See that? On this one. Rest we're gonna put in the crevice. Right in there, where it go in the middle. You know that's my favorite part. The middle of that cake that had the icing. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. A little bit more over here. Shit, y'all, look at that. Look at that, y'all. What you want right there? That's what you want right there. Look at that. Look at that pound cake. Look at that. Yes, sir. Eggnog pound cake. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna let it sit here just a second. I gotta take a thumbnail. I'm gonna come back, cut a slice, and we're gonna see how this cake is. I already know. I just gotta prove it to y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Let me take this off of here. Had to do a thumbnail there. And look at this. See how that icing that flowing through there, y'all? That's what I like. And look at this cake here. Look at that. Look at this cake, y'all. I'm gonna take a piece of this nice moist cake. You know it's moist. Look at that. Look how moist it is. Mm -hmm. And y'all, I sprinkle a little nutmeg on top. This is really good. It tastes like mmm. Mm, mm. Look at that moist taste, y'all. Let me show you the moist taste. Y'all know I do that moist taste. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you. Mmm. It's still slightly warm. And y'all know, look at that shit, this little glaze running through the middle. Now, I'm on camera, but if I was off camera, I'd take a spoon and spoon me some more of that glaze on top of that cake. Look at that. Let me give you a close-up. See that? See that glaze is oozing through there? Hmm. All she wrote, y'all, a little bit more taste of this, y'all. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wow. Wow. Hey, just like the holidays. I promise you, I only make this maybe a couple of times a year when eggnog is in, what they say, in season. I grab it up, give me some eggnog, make me a pound cake with it. Put it in the cake and in the icing, in the glaze. But well, anyway, I had to do a cake before the month was over. It's my last cake of the year. But this is the last. Y'all will see this on the Thursday. It's the last Thursday of 2022. So anyway, let's close this video out, y'all. Uh, Vlogmas, Vlogmas number 22 is in the books. Um, if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please uh, comment. I read all comments, reply all comments. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye. Vlogmas Day 22, done.